By the end of the month, there should be four brand new leased ambulances on Guam's roads. The ambulances, which are being leased from Midpac Far East, not to be confused with the Calvo-owned Midpac distributors, will add much-needed help to Guam's ailing ambulance fleet. The year-long lease, which comes with maintenance, will cost the government $480,000. Meanwhile, GovGuam has $500,000 from the Department of the Interior to purchase four to five new ambulances. So why not just purchase new ambulances with these federal dollars? The governor says he had to get ambulances on the road as soon as possible, and this was the quickest way. Unfortunately, because of how procurement law works, uh, again, uh, after discussions uh, with GSA, and of course also with uh, an aff affirmation by our legal counsel, we could not do it. Now the problem with going through the procurement process, it's gonna take some time. And what was so important is that we cannot risk another tragedy. The good news, says the governor, is that we are in the beginning of the fiscal year, which means they have more wiggle room with the budget. At the beginning of the fiscal year, you have some flexibility in the use of funds uh, so that we can do this leasing arrangement. Uh, and with that in mind, it allows us to make adjustments in how we spend to ensure that, uh, um, that these, these ambulances are acquired. With the four leased ambulances and the ones Gov Guam is in the process of purchasing, the island should have 11 to 13 ambulances within the next 12 months. This will be the first time in years that Gov Guam has had a fleet of new ambulances that is this large. Although they will be buying new ambulances, the governor says they are open to the idea of completely privatizing Guam's ambulance services. Now, as we move forward, we'll, we, we want to continue to be looking, op uh, being open to other options as well. And whether it's leasing or, potential, or potentially uh, outsourcing of ambulance services as well, privatization. But those are areas where I want to I wanna be open and see what is in the best interest of the taxpayer and what is, of course, the best interest of the health and safety of our people. The objective for us is to ensure that we have enough ambulances on the road and ready for any potential emergency situation so we don't have rep repetitions of what happened just recently as well as what has been going on for the past few years.